what's more fun than life? Games. You know what's more fun than math? Games. So let's play a game. This game is called Cartesian Battleship. Battleship works a little bit like this. You set up your page. Take your usual graph paper and you fold it in half. You set your grid up on the top, your enemy grid on the bottom. That's just like regular battleship. But here's the catch. You're going to set this up on an X, X, Y grid. So you've got your positive numbers counting upwards and you've got your negative numbers. Pro tip, that where they meet is the origin. That address is called zero zero so how it counts is you'd call zero on the X is right there and zero on the Y uh, right there from there you can count upwards or down so remember let's take this one for example coordinate negative two negative three so I'd start at my origin and I'd go negative two and I'd count down negative three one two three and that shot would land right there now this you want to set up your grid just like this and don't forget you have to have a second grid for where you've called already and maybe you're like oh it's a miss or maybe yeah it's a hit so go ahead and set your grid up like this and we'll get right back to you I almost forgot you want to know what ships to use so here we have our kind of standard ones you can sum them in if you prefer a different one so we got our carrier which takes up five C's, we got our battleship, which is four B's, we got a destroyer, which is three, we got a sub, which is three, we got a frigate, and of course, here, no navy's complete without its own little rowboat. Here's the catch, you're not allowed to curve your ships, there are no bent battleships in here, so you gotta keep them pretty much in a straight line, but you can go diagonal, or horizontal, or vertical, those are all fair game, go ahead and set up your grid. you make the call of you're trying to hit the enemy at negative two negative three so you count that so negative two negative three that's this intersection right here but these are not simple little uh, cannonballs these things explode so just for the sake of speeding up the game we say that that explodes in that whole radius any anything touching that intersection gets hit so if you have a ship there, it would count as a hit. If you have a ship here, it would count as a hit, and so on. Cool? That'll, that should speed up the game a little bit. 